Coach, 2-1 shootout win over the defending champs. What do you like about your team's play tonight? Uh, well, uh, what I like, uh, not just tonight, but the previous game, I guess Boston, uh, you know, last game they scored to tie it, and uh, we saw character come back uh, right after that and uh, with a good, uh, an important goal. Uh, and what I liked is when we had the lead last game, uh, we played the right way and shut them. And shut it down and uh, I think today we knew we needed one we just wanted to make sure we didn't need two and you know we made that mistake a few times this year where uh, you know, especially at the beginning but I thought we got real good after that during the year but when you're nervous and when there's big stakes out there high stakes it's it's you sometimes you go back to bad habits and we didn't and that was great and I think our our, our group has really evolved over time uh, we saw it last game managing uh, the big game in Boston and managing today you know that's a team I think they were eight and one one or something like that in the last ten even with their injuries um, and any time that uh, you know you play well against Crosby like that I think you've uh, mm -hmm. you've done something really good but I think for me it's uh, the mental toughness to stick to the plan uh, till the very end no matter what the circumstances are that takes a lot of mental toughness and character and our players have displayed that quite a few times now Speaking about just needing the one, a lot of credit goes to your goaltender with a solid performance tonight. What do you think of his play? Yeah, no, I thought I thought their goalie played well too. Uh, he made some key saves, and uh, our our goalie made some key saves. And I think probably the one everybody's looking at is the overtime one. Uh, and you know that was uh, that was terrific. Uh, and I think that's why it was a one-one game. Really, I mean it's a shootout, so it's a once you get there, it's I think that both teams did well in team play, and they both deserve. Uh, you know, to be there, and we were hoping for that extra point. And we know we're going to shoot out. So when I saw they were going shoot out, I was kind of happy instead of losing in the in the overtime because it's always a crapshoot. Uh, so uh, it's one of our strengths to go and shoot out, and uh, we proved it again today. Uh, I think Turi and, and Bobby have been unbelievable. And if you look at today. Uh, I thought Hoff played a terrific game, both sides of the ice. I mean, he's, he's really uh, rose to the challenge against the top lines and top players in this league. The very best, and uh, it goes and gets the goal. Uh, had a lot of great chances too, great back checks and stripping pucks off the top guys. And uh, I thought he really deserved, uh, you know, one of the players of the game. But when you look at uh, the last two games, um, you know, Turi, you know, coming up with two big goals last game uh, tonight with the, the shootout goal, uh, displaying a lot of character, and, and I think Bobby again the guy in front of the net on that goal I mean he's does it over and over again and it doesn't matter if he gets hurt and if it he goes back out there and that that takes a lot of uh, courage so really impressed by our guys Mark Mathot leaves the game with what looks like a finger injury do you have an update on his status yeah his fingers destroyed I mean it's it's uh, shattered and he's out for weeks Coach, there are two goals consecutive in the match against the Sports of the Series. It's something that really makes you forget the four consecutive wins. Just to talk about the work of your team, specifically in the match of this evening, but also against Boston. Ben, écoute, je, je pense que en ce moment on voit comment notre équipe a évolué. Les deux premiers mois, on avait des situations comme ça où on commençait à courir partout quand on s'énervait, puis on, on essayait de trouver d'autres solutions que, que notre façon de jouer. Puis avec le temps, c'est ce qu'on a appris à, à faire, c'est de, de, de rester avec le plan. Euh, euh, je pense que quand on parle de, 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 de toughness mentale, de, euh, ça part par la discipline. Euh, d'avoir euh, de garder le plan pendant 60 minutes Puis ça c'est difficile à faire, c'est facile à dire c'est très difficile à faire parce qu'émotionnellement tu pars d'un bord à l'autre facilement puis euh, tu pars ton chemin puis c'est ce qu'on faisait au début de l'année puis c'est ce qu'on fait plus alors euh, c'est une des raisons principales pour laquelle on est ici présentement c'est que les joueurs sont sur la même page euh, quand il y a un jeu ils en font puis quand il n'y en a pas bien, on, on passe à d'autres choses puis euh, ça ça prend beaucoup de euh, ça prend beaucoup de, 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 de maturité pour ça pour on a acquis ça euh, au courant de l'année tu peux nous parler un peu euh, du travail de Mike Condon qui, qui semble prêt à répondre à la belle à chaque fois, puis peut-être aussi qu'il sait un petit mot sur son arrêt miraculeux. Oui, bien, regarde, écoute, je vais être franc. Quand j'ai vu le gars de sol dans, euh, devant le gardien de but, j'ai presque fermé mes yeux parce que je pensais que c'était fini. Puis là, deux secondes après, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? Je l'ai vu sur, le, sur, euh, sur, le, sur la reprise. Euh, écoute, c'était un arrêt miraculeux. Puis euh, comme les bons gardiens en font, puis cette année, il y a une superbe année. Euh, tu sais, si tu regardes les deux derniers matchs, nos deux gardiens ont un gros mot à dire dans nos victoires. Euh, alors, c'est, je pense que c'est l'histoire de notre année. C'est que tout le monde a contribué. Euh, à un moment donné ou à un autre durant l'année, c'est la raison pour laquelle on est là. C'est que c'est pas une histoire d'un joueur, c'est pas une histoire de trois, quatre joueurs, c'est vraiment une histoire d'une équipe euh, qui a pallié à des pertes, qui a, qui a euh, vraiment dû euh, 
euh, passer à travers beaucoup, beaucoup d'adversité. Alors, ce qui fait qu'en ce moment, ben, je suis vraiment content pour, pour, pour les joueurs. Il, c'est, il le mérite amplement. Sorry? No, I mean, it's, you don't want to lose a, a player on any play, I mean, especially at this time of the year. You know, we need him big time as a top two, uh, top two defenseman. You know, he's Eric's partner, and he's got such great mobility, and he's our top plus and minus guy. And I mean, it's invaluable. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, you never want to lose a top four defenseman, and we've lost one now. So I mean, it, it is very disappointing, and and it wasn't a big hit or anything. It's a two hand slash, and you know, so it's it's uh, it's sad to see because we need him badly. I think at the very least, it should be taller. Well, of course, and, and you know, and the referees uh, saw the replay, and they, and they did, didn't see it. You know, it wasn't like they didn't think it was; they just didn't see it, and that happens. So, it's uh, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to blame the referees for not seeing something. They didn't see it. They didn't see it. I know it's nothing new, but uh, tonight it was against Sidney Crosby. I showed them the face-offs in the game. Anything else that he could do more? Well, you know, I think Page has been unbelievable, but when you look at that line, really, I mean, you look at uh, Pai, it's always first on puck, and I was the first guy back, and Hoffman, who's uh, who, who does both on that line, that creates that uncertainty for the opponent, because the minute we get it, you know, he can score, uh, and he's and he's got the speed to back check against the fastest players in the league, which he has. So he's he's uh, he's really uh, he's really developed uh, in a much better two-way guy than than he ever was. Uh, Um, and you know, I'm really proud of, of him right now, and I think it's it's very inspiring for for the other skill guys that you know you, you you can do that. You can go from being a real high end skill guy and dedicate yourself to uh, to being a great two way guy, not being a defensive guy. You know, I you know had the chance to be with Steve Eisman for a few years, and that's what he did. And you know, it's it's just a willingness thing. It's just uh, putting yourself um, every day with the mindset that you got to improve on that side. And Mike is doing that, so I think he's becoming every day a much better player. And uh, and he still still has the offense. You look at the points. I mean, he's he's right now going on a first 60 point season. I mean, that's terrific. So um, yeah, but he's one of many stories on our team. Uh, So that's why, for me, right now, it's a real team thing. It's not one individual here or there, um, and we got to keep being a, a, a great team. You know, every game we go into is never about let's be the best individuals on the ice. It's always about let's be the best team because I think every night you could be the best team against anybody, uh, and that's what our players have bought into. You're within one point of Montreal again, heading into Saturday. Do you sort of have a different approach going into the game after losing both last weekend? Nope. 20 years, the same approach coaching, so I won't change it today. It's all about us and how we grow and, uh, you know, tonight, I, I don't know what happened there. I got to go check scores and stuff. Uh, it's, it's, we won. We got to win our games and we got to get better. We got to keep on improving at all those small details. And that's our quest. It's been our quest since day one. Uh, you know, there's always a first step before you get to the second and third step. You know, the contenders and teams have shown over the years that they're, um, teams that are uh, contenders every year they're they're there for a reason they've learned to be there and you know you look at Chicago's and Pittsburgh even tonight it took them years and years to get to those uh, to get to have that type of uh, consistency and uh, and you know right now I think we're, we're taking a good step in the right direction but the minute that we slow down even by five percent uh, it's all gone so it's uh, it's all about us keeping uh, our relentlessness and and our team play and And, uh, and keep on improving. So it's our path and it's not anybody else's path right now. That's what we're after.